Subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. What's up guys, my name is Mr. J-Man and in today's video we're going to talk about the first and only combat between European forces and Japanese Samurais, aka the Kagayan Battles of 1582. So let's get started. Before we talk about this specific battle, we need to understand the context of the story. Ever since Miguel Lopez de Legazpi claimed the Philippines as a colonial territory of Spain in 1565, the early days of Spanish Philippines was very hesitant, with many indigenous Filipinos, particularly the Muslim kingdoms in the Mindanao region, harassing Spanish forces within the occupied lands, and even faced threats of invasion by pirates and European empires like the Dutch and the Portuguese. One specific of these threats happened in 1574, when Chinese pirate Lima Hong attempted to capture Manila but was soon repelled by Spanish and Filipino forces, who have admired the Japanese mercenaries recruited by Li Mang Hong prior to the conquest. You see, before the Spanish arrived, Japanese merchants and traders have already settled in Luzon as far back as the 14th century, and in 1573, they have started to trade silver for gold that was carried out in Metro Manila, Pangasinan, and Cagayan. But in 1580, Japanese pirates called Woku, composed of Chinese merchants and Japanese ronins, and led by their leader Taifusa, rode through the Cagayan River raiding local villages nearby, establishing a stronghold in the province and suppressed the natives under their will. On June 16, 1582, the Governor General of the Philippines, Gonzalo Ronquillo de Penalosa, wrote a letter to King Philip II of Spain about the situation, saying, quote, The Japanese are the most warlike people in this part of the world. They have artillery and many arquebuses and lances. They use defensive armor for the body, made of iron, which they have owning to the substantially of the Portuguese who have displayed that trade to the injuries of their own souls." End quote. Upon reading the letter, the king sent Juan Pablo de Carrion to end the Japanese oppression in the province and set sail from Ilocos with 40 Spanish soldiers, 7 boats including 5 small support vessels, 1 light ship named the San Giuseppe, and a gallery ship named the Capitana, all the way to the Cagayan River which took 34 days. Upon entering the river, the Spanish spotted a walker ship and engaged the enemy by launching artillery bombardment on the ship, damaging its mainmast and killing several men. The Japanese then attached to San Giuseppe with the grappling irons to prepare to board. Since these pirates didn't have superior weaponry to equip cannons and muskets in their arsenal, only using katanas, samurai armor, and low-quality cannons as viable weapons and protection, 200 of these pirates charged through the decks of the Spanish ship, attacking the pikemen with wave after wave of pirates trying desperately to break the Spanish line, but ended up getting shot one by one by arquebursers from the ship's rear. Seeing the opportunity, the Spaniards then boated the Waka ship and slowly annihilated them on board. The Carayon then continued down the river and encountered 11 to 18 ships with 1,000 Japanese pirates waiting for their next move. At first, some of the Spanish fleets tried to abandon the mission due to being outnumbered, but the Carayon boosted the fleet's morale back and managed to fight their way through the pirates' defenses. But due to many Japanese ships, they decided to land offshore dugging up trenches and continued to bombard the enemy. With a consistent artillery assault on the Japanese pirates and losing men, the Japanese enter negotiations with the Spanish which they obligate them to leave Luzon. The pirates would accept the order but wanted gold as compensation for losses they would suffer if they leave, which was rejected. As a result, the Japanese resumed their war against the Carrion by calling in 600 Japanese soldiers to charge their defenses, even almost reaching their trenches through taking their pikes off during these charges. But all these things were not enough to defeat the Spanish troops who squashed the Banzai charge. With the troops run out of ammo, the Carrion ordered his men an all-out assault against the pirates, where they routed the remaining pirates forcing them to surrender or running away through the tropical forest leaving their weapons to be collected as trophies, securing Cagayan back to Spain's control. Following the battle, Carrion established the city of Nueva Segovia in the province, which today is now La Loc Cagayan. While pirate presence in the area still remains active, but only comes in Cagayan to buy or sell valuable items. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you like it, be, so, be, be sure to like, subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications, and don't forget to follow my, my social media sites down the link in the description. And don't forget to watch these videos, they're appearing right now on the screen. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, stay safe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really glad that uh, you support me and support this channel. And yeah, uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.